I actually had no IMAX experience when I went in to production. I, I only, I frame it for two for all. And then we have sequences in this film that exist in another dimension uh, that we created one for three for them or anything in space. And then we shot with the capacity with LF uh, full, full frame. So we had one IO as an option. And only after I just think slow down from the edit that I started, so they gave me an IMAX presentation. I thought, what is this? Mm -hmm. So, so I, I was lucky enough that Denis Villeneuve agreed, let me watch Doom because I heard he did something cool. I said, I need to, I need to take what you did and do it <laughs> for Eternals. He said, okay. Yeah, he showed me the film. He also reminded me to go watch Interstellar again. Yeah. You know? And I did that. And I was, I'd never seen it on IMAX before. I, oh my God. You know, it was, so this changing aspect ratio within a scene to yeah. evoke the, the physical feeling of immersion. For our film, you, you're cutting from Cersei's face, Ajax's face of a human of a human sized person to a celestial who they're talking to, who is bigger than Earth. How do you show that scale? You stay in two for two for all or 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 uh, one IO, and then you open up to one for three when you go to the celestials. Two more quick questions in with you. I'm sure you've already been asked this uh, today at some point, but I'm actually interested in knowing this. It was released in the featurette. Uh, where a character looks at Richard Madden and basically says, "Hey, you're Superman," and he goes, "No, I have no, I have no cape." Yeah. Does that mean that Batman and Superman exist in the MCU, or are they are they being read as comics characters in the MCU? How does that work? Well, I uh, I I think you know we're in the business of telling stories about mythologies, and I think these Superman and the great movies that that, that portray you know Superman on the big screen they are modern versions of mythologies, right? Mm. And, and Icarus is our version of that. Doesn't mean we can't pay tribute and have a good time with these really iconic versions that we all love. Superman, Batman uh, are both referenced in the film. The way it's referenced, I would say is more that the kids read it somewhere. So he saw that was Superman. Okay. Or Gilgamesh loves Batman movies and he, he watched Batman and he has a reference of ballet. But hey, you never know. Yeah, all right, well, that would be amazing. I would love to be see amazing. that. I will be there day one in the theater yeah. if that happens. <laughs>